Good morning. Good morning. Today we are looking at Blueprints. Blueprints. This is a two to four player game. I think it takes about half an hour. Yeah, it does. 30 minutes. Well, that's what it says it does. From Z Man Games. This is a dice drafting and set collection? Yeah. Dice drafting game um, where you obviously draft dice. <laughs> and that you have true. use the dice to create buildings, 3D buildings, mm. from blueprints mm. that are on cards that you select. Yeah. Yeah, that's so I mean, uh, that's, general. that's the bottom Sorry. line of it, really. Yeah, so you, you there is a draw deck of cards. Um, that you take one card each and hide it behind your barrier. So it's um, yeah, and... Um, on the card, it's a little blueprint of a building. So it's a th there are two views of it on the card. One is kind of the three D view, mm -hmm. and one is the heads down view. And then it's got little numbers on it, and that just tells you how many levels are on each sort of cube. So if it says one, it's just one level. If it says three, it's three eyes. Yeah, or yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's not obvious if you look at it. You think you've got to place that. So the three D angle is quite easy to look at. As well, yeah, yeah. Sometimes. So anyway, so the idea is that you're building your blueprint the same as this image if you like um, and the way that that works is there's a bag of dice uh, and you take out in a two-player game you take out eight dice and roll them and then you put them in order number order one to six or whatever um, and they're all different colors so there are four different colors there's a uh, clear black orange and green and they represent different materials What's that you're building uh, so uh, clear is glass <laughs> black is stone I think um, orange is wood and Green is recyclable. Recyclable material. So these are the sort Recycl of materials. Recycled material. Re recycle, yeah. Recyclable. I don't recycled. Know. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so you take those dice trying to get certain bonuses that are relative to the number and the colour. And they will earn you points from there's a little sort of array of victory cards. So basically there are sort of four um, sort of bonus cards. One is mm -hmm. kind of the tallest building and it's got mm -hmm. to be at least five high. We'll come back to that in a second. Mm -hmm. One is um, if all your dice are the same colour in your building. One is uh, if you have four of the same number at mm -hmm. least in, in the building. One is if you have uh, one to six, one to six all, in your building. Yeah, six all, all the, yeah. Um, Which is so very you, tricky to so do. you can aim for those bonuses, but also there are bonuses per dice. So for instance, any mm -hmm. black dice that's uh, in your building, depending on what layer it is, one, two, three, four, it earns a certain number of points, yep. uh, increasing the higher it is. Um, any orange dice gets two points for every adjacent dice. So if it was kind of in, yeah, in the middle of four other dice, you'd get sort of two, four, six, eight, and one above it, and another two, so that'd be ten. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's above another one, you get another two, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So touching another dice earns two points. Mm -hmm. um, the clear ones, you just basically get the number of points for the number of pips that are face up. So if you took mm -hmm. a six clear, that would be worth six points. Uh, and the, the green, green or get, how many you use? Yeah, the greener the building, the better. Yeah, that's right. Very. True. I never thought about that. That is very thematic. <laughs> so yeah, if you've got one, this is what I've got to work with people. <laughs> if you've got one green <laughs> dice, is two points. If you've got two, is five. If you've got three, is seven. That kind mm -hmm. of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so the more green, the more points. Um, so yeah, and you kind of basically you change your strategy depending on how mm. the dice change About throughout the game. The game. You, you change it yeah. yeah. And so in a two player game you take one dice for your building and then you take another dice to discard. And you can take any of them. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah any of the any of the colours or numbers and you're trying to just think about which strategy you're after. As I say, you'll kind of probably change that as you go along mm -hmm. that what just on that one building alone. And depending on what you've just taken that I needed. Mm. You've just take you've taken the only five. <laughs> yeah, I mean you're not you're not really <laughs> keeping an eye on the other place no, on the other player, can't. but you can oh well, no, you can a oh, little bit, but yeah. So um so you take one, discard one, and then you plunge your hand back in the bag and draw out another two dice and roll those and place them in the sequence one to six, and then the other player goes, they take one, discard one, and they replenish and so mm -hmm. on. So it goes on like that until the bag is empty. Um mm -hmm. so it depends on the player count as to how many dice you roll and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But Basically, you go till the bag is empty, and that's the same number of dice that it takes to build, to build your, your building. building yeah. yeah, and then you reveal your building and you score it. There's a little score chart that you kind of score up on. Mm -hmm. The player that's in the lead in that end scoring phase after that round gets one of the cards, um, not the four bonus cards, but they're um, like again the winning, the winning again, building card. Basically. Yeah, we yeah we house rule this, and I'll tell you that in a second. <laughs> so there's a gold, a silver, and a bronze um, medal for the best house or the best scoring best house scoring building. or building. Um, in the two player rules it says ignore the silver and the, no ignore, no, the, ignore the bronze and the gold and mm -hmm. just use the three silver because there are only three rounds. But we felt 
uh, oh, I'll, I'll backpedal a little bit. Um, so uh, the person at the very end, <laughs> the person at the very end of the game, and there's only three rounds. So that's one building done. You do it again. Three rounds. There are three of these silver prizes to be won, and each silver prize has two points on it. So mm -hmm. if you won all three rounds, you'd get six points. Mm -hmm. That's it, apart from any bonuses that you may have got. Mm -hmm. But we felt that, oh, uh, so, so the bronze has one point on it, and the gold has three points on it. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you're kind of taking out the gold and the bronze, you know that every time you win a round, you yeah. get a two-point thing. So it's a little bit kind of, oh, there's no kind of... You've excitement got two or, and I've got four. Yeah. Got <laughs> so so we basically we took all the, the the cards. We ignored that rule. We took all the cards and shuffled them, all the bronze, silver, gold. Mm. Shuffled them all up and put them in a face down draw pile, so that when you win the round, you draw that and it's a secret to you whether you've yeah. got a one, two, or three point, and you keep it face down. Mm -hmm. It made it a little bit more interesting. Bit so yeah, I don't know why that rule's there. Strange, but um, they're obviously just trying to. I, I yeah. think the idea is that it's when you. The reason is, I think, when you've used up the three silver prizes, you know that's three rounds. Because you mm. do get so involved, you kind of, how many rounds have we played? So mm. I think the idea is that that tells you how many rounds you play. Yeah, Whereas you if you've got all the... You cards you've got. Well, that is true. It's very you've good got point. two, I've got one. <laughs> well, although you could have had some bonus cards. Oh, that's true. So, yeah. So, but I think that's the idea behind it. But anyway. It, it anyway. Yeah, how to <laughs> rule it, um, we shuffle them up, all of them. Uh, it makes it more interesting. So then also, the bonus cards are... Uh, those ones that you've got sort of all colours, all numbers and that stuff, so they're all worth two points as well. So again, once you've scored, the one player that's got the most in the score track gets the silver, or now as we play it, mm -hmm. uh, hid Any. hidden uh, bronze, silver, gold yeah. award. Uh, and then... Um, you bonuses. check to see if there are any bonuses. So if you've got all the same colour or all these, you know, let's say mm. one, one to six. And if you have, you can claim those cards and they've also got two points on them. So you could end up with three or four different mm -hmm. um, awards. Yeah. Sort of gold, silver, bronze, you all those You also special get six features. points if you create your blueprint exactly. Oh, that's true, yeah, but yeah. That's, only, that's not six points, it's six on the scoreboard. It, that's right, yeah. It goes towards your, will I get Final silver score. or not? Or yeah, gold, and that, we, we felt that was a weird thing because we're thinking, well, you're always going to achieve your um, blueprint. Yeah. But then we realised one of the bonus could, cards... No. Yeah, well, kind of, mm -hmm. yeah. One, you could go off-piste, off basically, piece. yeah. One of the bonus cards is uh, if you've got a building that's at least five high. Mm. All of the blueprints in the game are only three high. And we thought, well, how are you ever going to achieve yeah. that five high bonus? Mm -hmm. And we realised, oh, okay. Oh, we're sticking to the rules. Too. Yes, <laughs> you don't have to build your blueprint as per your blueprint. You could literally I just... I like doing it correctly. Well, you could literally just build a like, stack, sort of... <laughs> it's just... Yeah. And then you would win that at least five high bonus. But, of course, you're negating the... Mm. Matching your six... Um, yeah, but then you get the two points for the, the tower. I and know. You, you lose it on the possible two points of it's, the. Uh, yeah, there are different ways. So we, we didn't realise that that was a thing you could do. We thought you just yeah. had to build your blueprint. It's not very clear in the rules that you could do that. Yeah. But that is obviously a point that you can literally and that's think part well. There's the tactics involved as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, for instance, the, the, the black ones, the black dice, mm. if you. If you if you had all your black dice on the third floor, they would be worth more than if you had all your black dice on the f first floor. So, for instance, if you mm. had quite a low blueprint, you could think, well, I'm going to ignore the blueprint and just go mm. ju -ju -ju high and then use black ones at the top to get more points on because yep. there's a lot of black dice out or something like that. So mm. you can kind of just change your mind about how you're going to play, whether you're going to go by the blueprint and try and get your blueprint mm. correct building tick and six points. Um, or just try and get more points because you've got a lot of black dice available. It definitely changes. And... Memory players, I, I change my mind like five times over because yeah. I'm going for one to six and then, oh, there's no threes. Yeah, I mean, so the first couple of times we yeah, played it, we mind. played it so by the book, didn't we? That it was kind of, yeah. it's a little bit dry, but the minute you start kind of introducing the, hmm, I might be a bit sneaky I get a bit aspect. confused with all that, so I tend to stick to the blueprint. <laughs> <laughs> just the bits are more simple. But, uh, yeah, so uh, so that's pretty much the way the game plays. You play mm -hmm. three rounds of that and the winner of each round gets the bone the yeah, prize uh, and then uh, the bonuses and then at the end of the three rounds you look at how many cards you've got and add up any points you've got and uh the winner uh, is the winner there's a tiebreaker as well i forgot to mention that um oh, yeah. if you when you're doing the actual scoring on the track to get your gold silver bronze mm. award um the if they're the same so you've both got 20 points or something the tiebreaker is there are two dice on the board which are randomly drawn from the bag and they are the uh, preferred materials, if you like. Um, mm -hmm. So let's say it's a black and a 
glass. Mm-hmm. Um, the tiebreaker is the person who's got the most black, black. if that's, that's the like first, first one. First place, yeah. yeah, and it's one and two, so first and second mm. um, preferred material. So if you've got the same points, the one with the most black would win the mm-hmm. tie break. Mm-hmm. If you've got the same, goes to the second tie break. <laughs> mm-hmm. And you beat me on all the tie breaks. Every yeah. time we had a tie break, you beat me. Because so. uh, so I never pay attention to the preferred material. No, no, and no, neither do I. But it's just a kind of, yeah, it's a thing that's, you know, that's there. Just highly, just um, highly skilled the new one. <laughs> Naturally a builder. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, hmm. But yeah, so a uh, very simple rule hmm. set, very simple hmm. game to play, very hmm. satisfying. I mean, what are your thoughts on it? Sort of. A... I, I think it's a really good game. I, to me, I found it very similar to Sagrada. Yes, you did. Yeah, and I agree with that. Yeah, you're, you're drafting dice and you're using dice to build something. Yeah, and they're different colours and different pit and numbers. Yeah, it is very similar. Yeah, 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 using different colours and numbers, which is very similar to, to Sagrada. Mm. Um, and you are building things in both games as well. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah this is 3D the rather than difference. flat. It's more modern, I suppose it's more modern buildings than Sagrada Familia. <laughs> yeah, it's quite old. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite old <laughs> well, they're not finished yet. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's very similar in that way. Yeah. But that's a good thing for me because I like Sagrada. So yeah, yeah. They're both I agree with that uh, analogy. It's very similar. Uh, it although, is. yeah, this is 3D rather than flat. That's just kind of yeah, good. yeah. I think Sagrada's more colourful as well, yes. obviously, because it's got these lovely, delicious-looking dice. But yeah, this is like more like a more of a it's more business-like, modern, isn't it? Yeah, more, it? Modern, yeah. modern, modern, like conservative business-like yeah, yeah. game. <laughs> yeah, but it's still fun. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. so um, so points it then. Let's points it. Um, points shall it. I go first? Yeah. I'll, I'll go first. Um, this one, uh, this was kind of a, a bit out of left field for us because this is not a very well-known game. Um, you, m- you may not have even heard of it. No, um, but I saw uh, Z Garcia doing a video on this one um, and he really rated it. I thought, well, that sounds interesting. I'll try and search that out. Mm. And then I saw it come up for sale on the, on Facebook Marketplace uh, on the board game group. And uh, I thought, oh, I'll grab that while I can. Okay. Um, this is the German version, in fact. So that's you know, kind of, I guess that's how rare it is. Mm, um, it's language independent. Oh, yeah. You don't need to uh, you can get, mm. the, to get the rules off of um, BGG. But um, mm. yeah, uh, I thought it was a good game worth trying. And once we played it, I was right. Yeah. It was. Z was right. <laughs> he always <is>. uh, <laughs> um, So yeah, I right, uh, rate this one. It's a very simple, very quick game. Mm-hmm. Uh, nice little filler game and a nice game we, we've recently been doing a series on board game breakfast on the dice tower uh, about games that you can take on holiday with you and this one is one of those you know it's a small yes. package um, yes, so um, so yeah everything cool. about it really good seven seven yeah uh, it's okay. a nice solid game yeah yeah I suppose it's, I think my score is seven and a half okay so, you know. <laughs> and my reason Spoilers. my reason being <laughs> okay um, you're, you are more a fan of the uh, D and D, yeah, that kind of thing, that mm-hmm. kind of genre. Never played D and D in my life, by the you way. But I, this is just the image she you know has of I mean. me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is probably more me than you. Yeah. You, know, it's, it's, you like it as well. Yeah, yeah. So and I do like Sagrada as well. So that's that's why it's seven and a half for me. I think. Okay. Just, yeah, yeah. I think it's a bit more me than you. Okay. Fair. <laughs> okay. So there we are. Seventeen. Uh, seventeen. Seventeen. Seven and, se- seven and seven and a half. half. Fourteen and a half. Um, Very good. Not bad score. Good score. Um, so there. Uh, Recommended definitely. Yeah. Check this one out if you can find it. Uh, Blueprints from mm-hmm. Z-Man Games. I think it'd be good to do a playthrough as well because then people can see our if our strategies change. Good idea. Yeah. The game. And it's not too long. So yeah. Good idea. Yeah. We we'll do that. Yeah. Okay. Watch out for the playthrough. <laughs> okay. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Hopefully, this is uh, giving you an impetus to go and build your own buildings. <laughs> Cheers. Bye.